All right, you're back in the cypher with the pod has JB Perez here with C Money hashtag the pod has at the pod heads web show hashtag we Wednesdays keeping the show rolling here guys the third segment is our segments where we bring you uh, shit we want to talk about <laughs> so I'm gonna go first usually we do the drug screening but we're lazy bums and we're kind of got caught up here so we're gonna switch it up I'm gonna go first C Money's gonna go later with the drug screening. It's my turn for the for the week of weed, guys. So uh, strap it up. Hashtag the week of weed. Let's do it. Wherever you are, wherever you go, whatever you're smoking on, the news that matter to you, the news you want, it's the week in weed. All right, thank you guys for sticking with us. Hashtag the weekend one, where I bring you the latest and greatest cannabis news from around the world. You know, COVID-19 has put a halt to a lot of things around the world, but slowly but surely, even though here in America, we said it, the numbers are still up, or we say whatever, we're, we're going to keep on moving. So news is starting to pick up around the world and in cannabis. So let's get to it, guys. The first, the first headline in this week's Week of Weed is a big one, I think, because it sets a precedence, guys. And here, and here it is. The NBA. The NBA said to continue the, the season here, and they said that from here on out, they are going to stop testing their players for cannabis or any other recreational drug out there, guys. That's your first headline. That's actually pretty crazy because we're, I'm certain that it, it the, the percentage is very high of people in the NBA who like, maybe not that do it often or regularly, but definitely who like to smoke cannabis. And now in a place where they, they have to be in a bubble, right, in Orlando to, to play the, the season for three months, they're not going to have nothing else to do except maybe smoke a joint. And I think the NBA kind of understood this. Uh, considering COVID, considering the times, considering plenty of news and, and, and you know, science behind cannabis that it's not going to do anything to them except maybe make them hungry and go to bed. Uh, this is a good sign. Maybe everybody else starts, you know, all the other leagues start doing this and maybe some other businesses too. You know, what do you think, Sibani? I mean, you even have, this is, it's uh, every time, again, I'm, the, I'm always seen as the pessimistic guy. But I just look at it and I was like, yeah, great, 2020, they're finally doing this. Like, I mean, you have fighters like Mike Tyson saying marijuana helps him. These are people that literally get beaten for a living for your entertainment. NBA stars, they, the, the games are tough, I'm sure, but you're not getting hit for a living. Uh, mm-hmm. And I'm sure, you know, football players, Jesus, they're definitely getting hit for a living. Um, and they said it too. If, if, if it, it's just mind blowing, man, that the higher forces at will obviously are just finally saying, okay, fine, you can have the plant. It's fine, you know. Yeah, the, the plant, the, the little weed that grows on the ground. Uh, yeah, just to point out, and I think also they reinstated a, a player that they suspended in the beginning of the year for weed. So, I mean, they're doing right uh, all the way around. Um, so, anyways, moving on, guys, to the next week in weed headline. Get my notes up, guys. Uh... New Jersey, this is for you, C Money. And you, you, you warned, you know, you, you told me about it that New Jersey is is getting close. I mean, they're 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 getting ready. And the bill, there's a bill set out to decriminalize now marijuana. Just past the New New Jersey Assembly, guys. That's your headline. You know, we expect New Jersey to make weed legal come very soon, 2020 voting or even next year. But as of today, C Money, it passed. There's a bill to de- decriminalize marijuana it passed you're only going to get a 50 dollar fine now up to i believe two ounces that's a lot it's a lot of bud to be walking around the street to nice. only pay a 50 dollar fine so uh that basically i mean other than writing in the it in other than writing it in the book kind of legalizes marijuana in, in new jersey at least you're not afraid to have it in your pocket sure uh so anyway it's a gr- good first step and I think it's the they knew it was a first step to legalization in New Jersey. It's coming, C Money. It's coming. I can't wait, man, because uh, you know there are things uh, in irons in the fire we can't talk about yet. Hopefully, works out for the potheads here in terms of the uh, dispensary world here in New Jersey. But I can't wait, man. I just I want to have a regimen. I would like to just be an influencer in the area for cannabis. I, I, that's why we hope people support us. Uh, you know. It would just be cool to let people know, like, this helps you guys. This helps you guys from, from A to Z, whether you have severe mental illness or 
just a hard job. <laughs> you know, like, I mean, we're not doctors or scientists. We aren't on the show. We have personal testimonies, you know. This is a big move for New Jersey because the, the statistics, the FBI statistics, I'm reading it right now, say that people in New Jersey, the cops in New Jersey, arrest more people for marijuana possession than any other state except Texas. Yeah, bro, there's scumbags so. here. Cops, <laughs> the, the cops here where I am, uh, I, there's no crime where I am. I promise you, there's no crime, and these cops make over 100 grand. My brother, who was an NYPD, his first year, I think, was like 38 Gs, and he was actually dealing with crime. <laughs> you know, like... I yeah, I, I think you if you ask a lot of police officers and they were really, truly honest, that would be the truth, like, a lie. And they would they'd be mad about that because, like, you know, I'm risking my Chicago cops this weekend. Bro, by the way, Chicago, what are y'all doing out there, bro? Stop killing yourselves out there. Just, I think... 10 people died over the Father's oh, Day weekend bro, with a two-year-old, oh, too. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Come crazy. on, bro. Relax. So those the weekend cops, before that was 22 murders. Look at that. So we imagine what those cops have to deal with. And you telling me those guys can't pay $100,000? I doubt it. Yeah. Unless they put in hundreds of hours of overtime. Anyways, guys, moving on here. The clock is ticking. So check it out. So currently, Kansas City... If you have less than 35 grams, you're getting fined $25. Uh, if you have more than 35 grams, you're getting fined $500. So it's not even that bad now. The mayor wants to be like, yo, that's even that's bullshit. That's, if you have weed, you should not be paying any fine, bro. He's on our, he's on our side, see money. It's a plan. You should not be, be paying for, for any of it. So Mayor Quentin Lucas, a Democrat, shout out to him for to understand, bro. Like step one is to remove all these stupid laws that put black people brown people in jail i mean yeah so there you go mayor quinn lucas from fucking kansas city shout out to fucking the, him right there what do you it think it shows you that they want money man i mean the reason exactly. the hemp plant was illegal in the first place was because of money it had nothing mm -hmm. to do with smoking marijuana that wasn't mm -hmm. that wasn't even a thing it was because of the paper industry mm -hmm. that's a whole nother rabbit hole i mean google fact check me as i speak the paper industry caused the hemp plants to become illegal because I forgot the guy's name, but the guy that was in that was the head honcho in, in that uh, era involved in paper, obviously was yeah. like, yeah, no, I'm not being monopolized by this. No, we're going to make that illegal. And obviously people with money, we see it today, have heavy influence on politics. Um, it policy. goes back, it goes back forever. Yeah, exactly. But we're just potheads, so what do we know? <laughs> we don't know what the fuck. Ah, oh, stop smoking. Stop smoking we'll get it. We'll, we're going to get into the tinfoil stuff. <laughs> Uh, let me end this with guys. I'll give you some time if you want to say your PC money. The last one, bros. Wow, I said it on the last week and we that the illegal market in marijuana is still like billions of dollars, and it's because the government doesn't want to legalize it. Check this story out from Madison, Madison County in Ohio. This dude got pulled over. Long story short, with six hundred pounds, bro, of marijuana. 2.5 million dollars street street uh, worth guys uh you got you should look at this picture he looks like a like he, he like he smokes a lot of pop uh dude there you go i mean the the black market is still going strong i mean if the government would just legalize it you would not have this problem um but you know, as I say that out loud see money i just said that that in some places marijuana arrest uh is like make up all their arrests so if you take that away from them what are they doing right they know what the right thing to do is they just haven't reached a point where they've either figured out or financially they're just not at the point where That's they're willing to make the switch so like to your point so again you can't deny that having le cannabis legal in some way shape or form if not at the if not recreational medicinal to where anybody can go get a card as long as you're not a scumbag doctor, right um you cannot deny the, the pure fact i mean half the country more than half the country now has legalized in some way shape or form so if you're gonna sit there and say i still don't believe the blah blah i think it's all voodoo or i think it's uh, uh, placebo effect when you smoke, blah, blah, blah. You're, you're part of the problem and hopefully, you know, nature, natural selection has its way of just working things out because you just can't deny science. You can't deny testimony from people. I mean, it's just so, it shows you that if you don't realize that it's all always up to money, you're a sheep. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. Like this guy, Frank Tatic. I like making him famous. Uh, Frank Tatic, 28 from Los Angeles. So his ass came from California with 600 pounds of marijuana all the way and got caught up in Ohio. I mean, this guy's an asshole. I'm not defending him in whatsoever. 600 pounds. Yeah, you're an though. asshole. Don't all I'm do- asking is to be able to go buy a cartridge at a store that's like a mile away. <laughs> around, that's, around the corner. That's all I want. This guy's just an asshole. I mean, <laughs> like, yeah. and these are, and this is the this is the ammunition that the the anti marijuana people people use so um yeah you know what if you are going to do it illegally definitely follow the law he got pulled over for not staying in lane so there you go wow yeah stupid uh i think see money we got less than a minute so we can just kill it right there what are we gonna talk about in the last segment here i mean it could just be a bunch of you know i i kind of rebrushed up on my aliens if you want to go into it because i watched commander fravor again (laughs) <laughs> Check us out everywhere, guys. Subscribe on YouTube, uh, Spotify, Apple, Google. We're everywhere. And, uh, yeah, we're going to do the tinfoil hat thing. So if you don't like conspiracies, obviously, a lot of this is just for fun. We don't believe a lot right. of stuff. Aliens, well, yeah, I believe that, in them. Yeah, that might be one. But it's all just for fun. So grab some stuff to talk. Join us. Yeah. So anyway, so let's get out of here. See money. The clocks are ticking. Hashtag the week and we. We got one more segment to go, guys. Thank you for sticking with us at the Potheads Web Show. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you guys want to see. Uh, we'll be back in the last segment. Like I said, 10 4 hats off. We might talk aliens. We might talk, you know, brains. We might talk all that kind of stuff. So uh, we'll be right back, guys. Bye.